Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 106. Today we will begin the topic of absolute value inequalities. Absolute value inequalities, the very first video in the series of 15 videos. The first problem is already on the blackboard. Here's what we are told. We are told that the absolute value of a minus 5, absolute value of a minus 5 has to be less than 4. Tell you what, before tell you what, before we deal with the inequalities, let's make it simple. Let's make it simple. Let's first ask ourselves what would happen if we give if we if we had been given an equality rather than an inequality. Absolute value of a minus 5 equals 4. What that means is that what that means is that either a minus 5 has to equal negative 4 or a minus 5 has to equal positive 4 because if it's negative 4 by the time we take the absolute value of it it becomes 4 if it's positive 4 by the time we take the absolute value it becomes 4 so if the absolute value of a minus 5 is equal to 4 that means a minus 5 is either negative 4 or a minus 5 is positive 4 so let's rewrite it the way it was it's either positive 4 or a negative 4 so when we're dealing with in, when we're dealing with equality, it's quite straightforward, very simple. It's either positive positive value or negative value. If tell you somebody tells you that the absolute value of x is seven, well then x is either negative seven or positive seven. Absolute value of a is uh, uh, 102, then a is either 102 or negative 102 because the absolute value of both of those will be positive 102. When we're dealing with equality, it's quite straightforward. All we have to do at this point is to solve for a. We can't leave it like this. We have to figure out what 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 values a can assume. So let's do that. Let's add five to both sides here. Let's add five to both sides. Five is going to cancel out, and a equals negative four and a positive five. That's positive one, which means a is allowed to be either positive one or let's add five to both sides one more time. Five is going to cancel out, and a is allowed to be nine. Those are the two values that are a is allowed to take either one or nine and we can very quickly it only takes two seconds to actually verify it we can very quickly see that if a happens to be either one or nine the absolute value is going to be four if a happens to be one one minus five absolute value of one minus five is absolute value of negative four which is four or if a happens to be nine absolute value of nine minus five nine minus five is going to be four that's all now let's deal with inequality now let's deal with inequalities and what we will see is that what we will see is that the, the, the demarcation points that we just saw 1 and 9 are not going to go away they're going to appear and reappear and appear all over again whether, they, whether it be dealing with greater than sign or less than sign 1 and 9 here plays role here that is our that is our point of uh, demarcation as I said Okay, so, so let's do an inequality. Absolute value of a minus a minus five is four. Demarcate, which means to put a boundary around something, to outline something, to restrict something. We learned this word long time ago in our vocabulary lessons. I'm going to quickly give you the day when we learned it. The word demarcate, demarcation is the noun. Demarcate. Day number twelve. Just type in whichever exam that you're preparing for. If you're preparing for SAT, just put in SAT vocabulary words day 12 or GRE vocabulary words day 12. The video will pop right up and that's the video where we learn the word demarcation. So 1 and 9 here play a significant role. We'll see that in a second. Absolute value of a minus 5 is less than 4. We have to ask ourselves that here on the number line, where can that be true? This value has to be less than 4. This value is going to be less than 4 if itself is between 4 and negative 4. 4 and negative 4. For example, it has to be between 4 and negative 4. That's where the values are that's where the values are going to be. But less than 4 or the absolute value is going to be less than 4. Now notice we put a dot here and we put an open circle. Open circle means we do not have equal to sign. If we had an equal to sign, we would have closed this circle. This is an open circle. 
So the same thing here. It's an open circle. Open circle means that we do not have equal to sign. Why does it fall? Why does the value of a minus five has to fall between negative four and positive four? Why? Because value of a minus five, for example, can, cannot be negative seven. If a minus five, if a minus five, if a minus five happens to be negative seven, by the time we take the absolute value of it, absolute value of negative seven is positive seven, and positive seven is not less than four. We are told that it has to be less than four. The absolute value of a minus five has to be less than four. It cannot be negative seven. It cannot be negative five because the absolute value of negative five would be five, and five is not less than four. Also, it cannot go on the right of four. It cannot be ten. A minus five cannot equal ten because the absolute value of ten is ten, which is not less than four. This is this is very confusing actually. A minus five cannot be ten. A minus five cannot be ten because the absolute value of ten is ten, and ten we know is not less than four. It has to be less than four. In order for it to be, in order for this quantity to be less than four, it has to be restricted between negative four and a positive four. We're not quite done yet. That's not the end of it. What we see here between negative four and positive four, these are the allowable values, allowable values of a minus five. We're not interested in solving for a minus five. We are solving for a. We want to find out what are the allowable values of a, which we'll see in a second. So now we have to continue this. We have to continue this discussion, which which tells us if absolute value of a minus five is less than four, which is this scenario right here that we're talking about, because that's what it is. A minus five is what we're showing here, which tells us that either a minus five has to be has to be ah I see I almost made a mistake here I almost made a mistake here I I, I put this sound this sign I will have to erase it and and, and correct it a minus five has to be more than negative four that's the tricky part this is this is a minus five cannot be less than negative four a minus five cannot be less than negative four it cannot be to the left of negative four it has to be to the right of negative four this is where people get confused like I just did a minus five this value a minus five that we're showing here has to be more than negative four. More than negative four is when it lies to the right of it, and it has to be less than positive four. A minus five has to be more than negative four, or a minus five has to be less than positive four. And now we solve for a. Add five to both sides, and that tells us five is going to go out. And a has to be more than positive one, or Add five to both sides. Five cancels out, and a has to be less than positive nine. And now we're going to show on the number line the values that a can take. This is a minus five. This is what we're showing here is a minus five. Here's the values that a can take. Again, here's our zero. We need positive one. We need positive one, and a positive nine. There you go. These are the values. Again, we put a dot here. Open circle. There you go. These are the values that a can take. If we were to, if we were to ask to show, if we were if we were asked to show the solution to this inequality on a number line, that's what it looks like. This is this is the value of a. This is this here we are showing a. Here we are showing a. Here earlier we were showing a minus one. These are allowable values of a minus one. A minus one has to be negative. It has a minus a minus five has to be between negative four and positive four, which in turn means that a itself has to be between one and nine. That's all. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye now.